cruising and making plans. They're two things that don't always go together well. Hi, I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I share what it's really like to cruise when your plans go awry. This episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by SeaTech Systems, experts in cruiser communications. Introducing the Narwhal Connect, a complete internet and calling solution for your boat. With plug and play Wi Fi, cellular, and satellite, it's the only system designed to give you cost effective internet anywhere in the world. Visit SeaTech.com, that's S E A dash T E C H dot com for more information. And as a bonus, Boat Galley Podcast listeners get free shipping with the code BG20 at checkout. SeaTech Systems. Navigate everywhere, connect everywhere. It's often been said that cruising plans are written in sand, at low tide, or in jello, in the tropics. Or I've even heard invisible ink. In other words, don't plan on the plan. Before we started cruising, and even in the first year or two of our own cruising, we took that to mean that we might have to change our mind about what we wanted to do. Hear about a fantastic anchorage. Stay a few extra days because the fishing was so good. Avoid a place that was overcrowded. Time our stay to coincide with a great band playing at a beach bar. In other words, we saw ourselves as being in control. The plan might change, but we'd be the ones changing it. <laughs> We soon realized that outside forces were far more likely to cause changes in our plans. Weather, health, politics. Some things that we thought were out of our control turned out to be largely in our control. Boat repairs don't throw as many monkey wrenches in plans when you're a fiend for preventive maintenance and can fix most of your gear yourself or do without. Money is always an issue. But having a realistic budget that includes maintenance, repairs, upgrades, and a little fun helps. At the same time, we learned that some things were just plain and simply out of our control, at least if we weren't reckless. Politics can make a certain location off limits, unsafe, or prohibitively expensive. The places will vary from year to year, and what seemed great when you planned your route can suddenly turn dangerous or cause you to change the itinerary. Weather does not always cooperate. Anchorages can become untenable or passages virtually impossible. Windows can slam shut and stay that way for weeks. If you're aiming for comfortable cruising, schedules are out of the question. And health overrides everything else. A simple cold may not keep us in port, but we don't leave a locale with good medical care when there's an ongoing issue. We do our best to live a healthy lifestyle, but sometimes issues arise. What's a relatively simple medical issue in a city with doctors, labs, pharmacies, and hospitals can turn into a life-threatening crisis in a remote area. And frankly, illness can lead to cloudy thinking and bad decision-making, as well as poor reactions to emergencies. An example of all this came in the spring of 2016, when we had hoped to be heading to the Bahamas. But Dave hadn't been feeling great, and it was finally diagnosed as a prostate infection. Nothing life-threatening if treated, but they can be stubborn to eradicate. It took several months, but doctors were able to get it under control, and we finally spent four months over the summer in the Bahamas, instead of the spring to early summer that we had expected. It was still wonderful, just changed it a little bit. Then the following December, we were within a week of taking off for the Virgin Islands when the infection reared its ugly head again and made it impossible to think of leaving. So, well, we haven't gone to the Virgin Islands. It hasn't worked out at any time since then. But you know, there are far worse things than staying in the Florida Keys. More recently, the pandemic has affected thousands of people's cruising plans, 
whether they've not been able to go somewhere they want, had to leave somewhere that they were perfectly happy but were getting kicked out, or having to deal with travel restrictions. Still, it will all work out. Cruisers are adaptable. They can make plans and then change them as often as needed. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast and hope you're doing well. Let us know what you want to know about cruising and living aboard. 